Too much? Too much? Yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> what you just heard right there is probably one of my best romantic lovey-dovey kind of beats I've ever made. Kind of proud of myself. Can you tell? But in all serious, we're gonna break it down today in this video. Stay tuned to the end to hear the whole thing. But before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, headbutt your best friend for me. It's for good luck. Follow me on Twitch, link in the description, and let's jump into it. All right, so here we are. We're in FL Studio. Really, I hope you guys don't mind if my buddy, Lil Ghost, joins us for the session. Why, hello there. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> I swear I don't have problems. All right, so pattern one. Let me show you what we got here. Open up Omnisphere. We pulled up. Edison's Rose, okay? I wanted something romantic. I wanted something just, ah, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying when I play this. Listen to this right here. Listen to this. Let's open up the piano roll so you can see what we got here. All right. Boom. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Cupid, is that you? Are you here, Cupid? This it sounds like Cupid's here. It does though. Oh. Oh. Woo, baby. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what key was that? Listen, I I use scale of two. All right, to get these chords down. D major. That was D major, baby. All right. Let's go to pattern two. All right. This time I open up contact. We open up exhale. And I use the number eleven, alleyway ten fourteen. Okay. You look at the settings right here. <laughs> okay. Let's open up Piano Row. I basically copied and pasted the exact same chords. Exact same pattern from the last one. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. It just adds space in the track. You know, it fills in the gaps just like very peacefully. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Pattern three is the bass. All right, I use Nexus two. Prids sidechain bass. Is it Prids or Prides? I, I still don't know, dude. But yeah, we use that. All right, so you just listen to this really quick. Oh. Oh, this this is like literally one of the best basses I have used, I have found to date. I added a little distortion to it with Destructor. It's an FL plugin. Just a little bit of distortion, just to make it easier to be heard on the mix, right? All right, so let's go to pattern four, which is, uh, again, X is two in the first piano, Arena Ambience. All right, now this is when it starts getting spicy, all right? <laughs> listen, 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 listen. You might need to be sitting down for this. This is about to get really sexy. You've been warned. I know, right? Ooh. 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 That's all you get. Ha! Huh. Next! So pattern five, we actually jumped into the 808, but before I jump into the drums, I did en end up adding more later on to beef it up a little bit more in certain areas. So we have a pad here with expand. You take a listen to that. And again, I didn't do nothing crazy here. I just copied and pasted the same original chords on here, but this time I raised it up an octave for these pads. Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. So peaceful. So, so peaceful. These go really, really well with the exhale that I added earlier. All right, so let's go to pattern 10. Now pattern 10 is for the bridge, okay? So let's listen to pattern 10, slightly different pattern. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You got a pad in there, you got exhale in there, and you have the roads from Omnisphere, okay? Then you have number 11, which is a different baseline for the bridge. 
And then we have pattern 12, which is a different piano for the bridge. Oh yeah, this comes in handy later, baby. All right, and we got pattern 13, which is another exhale. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that's it. All right. Now we can go back to the drums and let's start with the 808 right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up the 808. Nothing crazy here. Let's follow the bass line on the original chord progression. Yep. Nothing crazy. And we got some drums. Oh yeah. You see where I'm going with this? Mm. Oh yeah, there will be babies made to this beat. Here's the bridge drums. Slightly different. Took out the hat, changed the pattern a little bit. And then that was it, that was the last pattern. All right, really quick, before we play the final product, let me show you exactly what I did to the main instruments in the mixer. So if we go to the roads, Added some fruity reverb, okay? Just basic reverb. I turned up the wet a little bit, turned down the dry a smidget, and I turned up the decay just a smidget, a smidget. We also EQ'd the lows and a little bit of the highs out, and then I put another EQ on top to, you know, EQ it more. <laughs> and we have exhale. Exhale, added a uh, Valhalla vintage verb, okay? And I also EQ'd the lows and a little bit of the highs there. Now the bass, I told you I added Destructor earlier and just distortion and we turned up the preamp a little bit turned up the wet a little bit and got a nice distortion on the bass to bring it out in the mix a little bit more okay and we have the first piano eq the lows accentuated the areas i wanted to accentuate so next one's pads which i use expand for and we do a little drip on it a little drip on it we used to drop preset okay and of course i eq the lows and a little bit of the highs out of that one as well now we go to the second exhale we added some reverb to it. Now this time I turned down the dry a lot, turned up the wet a lot. I expanded the decay and I expanded the size to make it really just, you know what I mean? I'm gonna lose so many subscribers. All right, so the last thing was the piano number two. Now I added a, a delay, Fruity Delay 3. Now all I had to do here was once I opened, it was kind of almost perfect. So I just turned down the feedback and it was where I wanted it to be. After that, we added some reverb, turned up the wet, Turned down the dry a little bit, expanded the decay a little bit. We added halftime, which was the deciding factor. Like this really made the piano stand out. Added halftime at 1.5 times and a 1 eighth T right here. These settings right here. 1 eighth T. I don't know what the T stands for. Don't ask me. I'm pretty sure it's something I should know. <laughs> and then, you know, we cued again the lows and highs out of here. So with that done and I don't know. <coughs> all right. Now that that's all out the way, let's take a listen to the final beat. But disclaimer baby making may occur i'm just warning you in about nine months you might you might have a little one running around your place i'm sorry it's all your fault no you're gonna stay all right let's do it
All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Headbutt your best friend for me. It's for good luck. Remember to follow me on Twitch. Link in the description. We're over there making beats, playing games, just chatting. We're doing all kinds of things. If you enjoyed this beat, this beat will also be on the next album that comes out within the next two weeks. Again, it's a DMCA free, copyright free album for live streamers to play in the background of their streams. And for you rappers out there, there's 100 beats in my Discord for you to download. Copyright free, DMCA free. You can do whatever it is you want to do with them. The only stipulation is give me a shout out. And that's really all it is. <laughs> I don't care what you do with the beats. Just make sure you join the Discord. Link in the description. All right. Before you go, one last major important thing. Remember that progress is happiness, people. Make progress today. Ghost man out.